Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to set up things ready for Google without using any what you see what you get editors and um, using it all in HTML. If you look, I've got the source code of cnn.com here and they've got the, the doc type and all that sort of stuff but what we're interested in is this where it says all, all the meta names and if we look at the one that was defined as the description which is that And then, and then we look at um so it's, it's that keep that in your head and then we look at the result on Google and see what the, the description of that that is we see that it's cnn.com delivers the latest breaking news and information that's the start of it so if we now look at our code, we see uh, CNN.com delivers the, the the latest breaking news and information. So the meta element is what um, makes websites find you more easily and. Google's cache won't find you as soon as you put these keywords in. It's a lot. There's a lot more to it than that, but this is a very important part of it. So let's just go through the anatomy of a me uh, meta tag and what you want to do. Um, there's three types of meta tag that you're going to want to be playing around with so just got a basic page here and meta tags always go in the head so we start them off with an opening tag and then meta And then name, and then we've got all these types here: author, description, generator, keywords, revised. Um, to add keywords that we want people to search, we want to say the key keywords option. So in here, we have to put the terms that we want people to search for on Google to find our site and then we've got more of a chance. So then after we've defined what the name of the type is, then we need to define the co the content is so the um the content of this page is gonna be Test and it's going to be Tom. So over time, if you've got a good website, if people search for test and Tom, they'll, they'll find my website because they put those meta attributes in. Now let's move on. And obviously, you just close that tag like that. And now that we've done that, let's move on to some other types of the name attribute. Well, there's the, the description attribute. So if we go meta, name, and then description. And then we define the content as...
this. And then we close that tag when people search on Google for our website over time. That's what the description will be. So, and um, the last one we want is um, another type. So it's meta name. And then this time we're going to define what the author is. And then we're going to define the content as Tom. So let's look at what that's doing. It's saying that if people search for t test and Tom in Google, this website will try and get its self-index for the keyword test and Tom and it will um, try and get index for the, disc the description this is this is a test and it will have the author set to top so that was just a quick look at how to use meta tags and how they're used on some websites thank you for watching and subscribe if you like my videos thank you very much